Welcome to Christ Embassy Online Church. Be blessed as you take part in this wonderful service. We are king. Run them, run them, run everywhere. Run them, run them, run. We are king. Run them, run them, run everywhere. Run them. I started from complaining, uh -huh. then I went to raining. Yeah. You could always catch me blaming till I started aiming at the top. Realized that I was already there. Kinda aiming at myself, now my vision's so clear. I'm on top, top, top. Vision so clear, never stop, stop, stop. stop. So do more than stay when I'm on your block, block, block. Guaranteed to take you there over to the top. And if I fall, I still land on the top. Yeah, don't worry about when the paper be coming. It's a kind of flexing only King Solomon be pulling. The high balling only King James be understanding. The kind of revenues our expert has been making, huh? I'm climbing the ladder of greatness so strong. Holy Ghost of Pain of Men, I can't go wrong. Yeah, I'm kinging. I don't do the ring and grace is not fair. I'm taking over territories, orders one in there. Run them, run them, run everywhere. Run them, run them, run. Placker, 21 guns, road sex, straight up king, ain't no Mufasa. I'm all pie, Superman in my rear view. On angelic wings, no Be Be Bellevue. My life's like a gym, the way things are working up. Jesus Christ, they were blood, that's where I'm standing up. His spirit leaves me, man, none can run me up. With my old click, protect, signing out. Run them, run them, run Bright clouds in my memory Made it out the ghetto, now I got praises in my melody uh, Who would have thought we chasing devils like it's Halloween? Uh, Flex muscles by the spirit, no adrenaline yeah. Two edged flows like a sword, every syllable Put the back of your mind like immigrants in Senegal Holy Ghost gang, secular rappers doing bad uh -huh. No apologies, living a king cause I'm a pastor uh. Young ruler, living presidential Never worry that I'm on the top, it's essential I'm flourishing, my root is by the rivers, no Caribbean You can tell I'm free from the flesh, vegetarian am moving higher, I am elevating I've gone beyond walking on waters, I'm levitating I asked the mirror of the word, it told me that Sam Jams, you're the greatest of them all We are king, king. Yeah. Run them, yeah. run them, run everywhere Run them, run them, run We are king, yeah. run them, run them, run Southwest, raining, raining everywhere Let your fire burn, only bright lights up in here But the Holy Ghost, that's why I'm shining every day We are king in, we are champions oh. Raining, more than conquerors Lights, 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 seeing lights everywhere I see you lights, lights, lights shining bright everywhere We are king in, uh, uh, uh God has given us far above the Call me Raider, you need red hood Now we sing down the road like a slow to your chest When I give a little guy with us a ring Come, like one shot for the kings Like two shots for the kings and the queens of the Light up the city, the top is with yes His press from when it's and give the command We are king, yeah. 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 we are king, yeah.
Rhapsody of Realities. Listen and be blessed. Today is June 19th, and Pastor is saying to us, Step out of the boat. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 29. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. In Matthew chapter 14, Jesus walked on water and showed us something remarkable about the life of faith, the life of the Spirit we've been called to live. When his disciples saw him walking on the water, they were scared, thinking he was a ghost. However, Jesus allayed their fears and said, It is I. Be not afraid. Matthew chapter 14, verse 27. When Peter heard the master's voice, he spoke up, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Matthew chapter 14, verse 28. Jesus obliged and said, Come. Peter stepped out of the boat and walked on the water to meet Jesus. Shortly afterwards, Peter began to drown in the water when he saw the raging tempest. Fear gripped his heart, and that dissipated his faith. Walking on the water is a life of the Spirit where you don't consider anything else but God's Word. It's when you come out of that comfort zone and security of the boat and take your steps on the basis of God's Word. Many, instead of launching out in faith, have chosen to remain in the boat like the other disciples. Imagine how glorious it would have been if all the disciples stepped out in faith and got on the water, when the Master said, Come, be quick and bold to act your faith. There's so much more for you to enjoy in God. Don't stay at the same level. Grow your faith. Use and exercise your faith. The moment you take your step of faith in whatever God has asked you to do, refuse to be distracted. Set your gaze on Jesus. Peter stepped out of the boat in faith and walked on water. However, immediately he took his gaze off the master. He began to sink. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. This means to turn away from everything else and fix your gaze on Jesus. Consciously look away from all the troubles and limitations and fix your gaze on the realities in his word. Refuse to consider or be influenced by adverse circumstances. Stay focused on the word. Shut the world out and see nothing but God. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, I thank you for the blessing of acting on your word. I make progress by the word today. Confident in its ability to put me over and cause me to excel in all I do. I'm on an upward and forward journey of success and victory, positioned for glory and excellence. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, Romans chapter 12, verse 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 17 to 18. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 8, verses 9 to 40, and 2 Chronicles, chapters 33 and 34. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 1 to 10, and Isaiah chapters 5 and 6. Rhapsody of reality. Be blessed as you listen to this amazing testimony from the Healing School. At the Healing School, thousands of people of different ages come from different countries and different walks of life. And at each healing service, the scene is much like what the Bible describes in Matthew 15, 30. And great multitudes come unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. We have witnessed so many wonderful miracles and transformations in the lives of many. And today, we bring to you one of the awesome healing services held at the Healing School 
with the man of God, Pastor Chris. Stay tuned. Condition that brought me here to healing school is myopia, a medical term for short-sightedness. With my right eye, I cannot see the writing on the book. It's blurry. With my left eye, I cannot see. Everything appears blurred again. I want God to fully restore my eyesight through the healing anointing that will be imparted by the man of God unto me. I believe that uh, God will heal me through the man of God, Pastor Chris. My name is Solofelo Thlope. I'm 32 years old and I'm from Johannesburg in South Africa. The condition that brought me here to healing school is myopia, a medical term for short-sightedness. What it means is that I am able to see objects that are close to my eyes clearly, but any distant objects, you know, appear to be blurred or fuzzy. This condition started in 1992 when I was 10 years old. At the time, I was attending primary school and it occurred during one of my school lessons that I noticed that I couldn't see as clearly as I normally would on the chalkboard. My teacher also made the observation and alerted my parents who then scheduled an appointment for me to see an optometrist. The optometrist then confirmed the myopia condition and then put me on prescription eyeglasses. At the time, I was a young girl, energetic, and participated in various sporting activities. The glasses were a hindrance, inasmuch as they afforded me the ability to see clearly, you know, it limited my mobility. As it progressed, I had to have a stronger lens. And because I was a young girl, you know, and aware of my body image, I found the eyeglasses aesthetically not pleasing. So the optometrist then recommended that I switch from eyeglasses to contact lenses, which I did. Without my contact lenses, I cannot see anything beyond, I would say, two centimeters from my eyes. You know, I, if I'm reading something, if I were to read anything now, it would have to be very close to me. The further away it is from my eyes, you know, it becomes out of focus. It's not possible for me to, you know, engage in any activity without my contact lenses. In order for me to see clearly, I have to be wearing my contact lenses on a daily basis and of course uh, taking them off at night so that they can be sterilized. You know, having to rely on contact lenses is a huge inconvenience. You know, uh, for instance, I had my first daughter in 2010 and I was exclusively breastfeeding. So this entailed that at night time, during night feeds, you know, I had to you know, wash my hands, uh, put on my contact lenses and attend to my baby. I couldn't just get to the business of nursing my baby without my contact lenses. I couldn't even see my baby clearly. So it was a, a huge convenience. It had a huge impact on my personal life and on my day-to-day -day activities. I know that I do not want to be in this condition forever. I don't want to see myself entering into old age you know, and having to be confronted with, you know, the prospect of putting on contact lenses on a day-to-day -day basis. It will just be a, a, a continuance of a hindrance to my, my life, and I don't want that. I want to change in, in my situation. With my right eye, I cannot see the writing on the book. It's blurry. With my left eye, I cannot see. Everything appears blurred again. I want God to fully restore my eyesight through the healing anointing that will be imparted by the man of God unto me. I believe that uh, God will heal me through the man of God, Pastor Chris. In need of a complete restoration of her eyesight, Solo Fellow came to the healing school. Hello everyone, it's a date with destiny at the healing school today where impossibilities and hopeless conditions will be completely turned around. Many are coming in right now with great expectation in their hearts 
believing in the unfailing love of God to meet everyone at their point of need today. You don't want to miss this. So come with me as I take you through the rest of the healing service. I'll be right back. What a beautiful time it is in the auditorium right now. As you can feel the joy and excitement that has been expressed by the congregation as they listen to testimonies. That day, I became normal. They saw me. I was tired. I gave myself food. I did my bread. Angeline now is a wonderful girl. She doesn't give me stress. She goes to school alone. And she's now a great two. No love here. No, I am here. And just as anticipated, the man of God begins to minister to those who have come desiring a healing touch from the Lord. And we can see the healing power of God in them as they celebrate the miraculous work of the Lord that is evident in their lives now. Those on wheelchairs get out of their wheelchairs and life-threatening conditions bow to the matchless name of Jesus. Wow, what a supernatural moment it is indeed. Praise God. The man of God gets to Chela Felo. He lays his hands on her and she goes under the power of the anointing. See her rejoicing over her healing. Her sight has been perfected by the anointing. Praise God. Rhapsody of Realities, we're taking the reading from James chapter 5 verse 16 from the Amplified Version. Make power available and give the word. The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. This reading from the Rhapsody of Realities is taken from the 23rd, which was a Thursday, and it reads as follows, Eliminate fear. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. This is taken from Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Praise the Lord. Before I could not do that, praise God, I'm healed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Pastor Chris, I love you so much. May God bless you and increase you. And may you continue touching the lives of many people around the world as you touched mine. Praise God. It was a glorious sight to behold. The joy of many was restored, just as it is the Father's will for them to live in health all the days of their lives. Praise the Lord. The glory that was experienced in this place today is beyond what we've ever seen in most healing services that we've witnessed, even watching enter the healing school. Everyone present in the healing line received their miracle. It was amazing. If it was just one miracle, it was big enough. But we're talking about hundreds of persons. It's amazing what God did today. I'm proud to be a partner with the healing school. We're involved in bringing hope to many. And that's why the healing school is so unique. The healing school restores hope to many. Situations that even doctors don't have answers to. But the healing school is able to provide this same solution. Restoring joy to many. Restoring joy to communities. You know, when they participate in the program. What an amazing time we had today. And I'll say to you out there that are not partnering with the healing school. This is the best platform that you can sow your seed into. You know, as we minister, as pastor ministers to people, through our seed, we are ministry, we are restoring joy. And what else can you be involved in than restoring joy to the life of many? So if you're a partner, step up your partnership. There's more to be done. There is more to do. We need to seed this gospel so that many more people can receive healing as they are doing today with the healing school. It's time for the word. Be transformed as the word of God comes to you with power. God bless you.
Number three, the growth and dominion of the world in you and your circumstances. That's what it means. It means the growth and dominion of the world in you and your circumstances. That means the word of God will have dominion in your life and it will have dominion over your circumstances. That means growth. Look at Acts chapter 19, verse 20. Read it for me. It's unstoppable. So mightily grieved the word of God. So mightily grieved the word of God. The word grew and grew and grew and grew and prevailed. It will grow in your personal life and prevail in your body. Prevail in your soul as it does in your spirit. Can you shout amen somebody? Even if you had a problem with your body, put the word of God into it. Sow the word of God into your flesh. Give your body the word of God. No cancer can stand it. No diabetes can stand it. No pain can stand it. No ulcer can stand it. For the word of God will grow mightily and prevail. And push out the trouble from your body. You will push out, eject the pain from your body. The word is spreading, spreading, spreading through your being, coursing through your being. You see, there are a lot of people who have only kept the word of God in their spirits. But this year, it has to grow. It has to spread. Spread to your soul. Spread to your body. Until you get to every fiber of your being. Every bone of your body. Every cell of your blood. You learn to celebrate the word of God in your life. Are you celebrating the word of God in your life? So we're spreading everywhere. And the word of God is spreading in me, spreading in my circumstances, spreading, spreading, and I'm spreading everywhere. Shout amen. amen. This is the glory of God. 2016, our year of spreading. Spreading. Hey! Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Hallelujah. When you read about Jesus, the Bible says, and his fame spread abroad. The Bible says news about Jesus spread abroad. Jesus. He says his fame spread abroad. We have just come from a year of triumph. What do you think will follow? What do you think will follow? Ah! Hey! hey! Woo! Listen, listen, listen. When the children of Israel defeated Jericho, in fact, before they got to Jericho, the people of Jericho heard about them. News about the defeat of Bashan had already come. News about their victories. And after the wars of Jericho fell down, other nations began to hear of Israel. News about them went far and wide. God said, I will put your fear in all the 
nations round about you. With the victories that God gave us in 2015, Labagas, Terongo Babelahaya, we have served notice to the devil. That's why it's a year of what? Spreading. The demons have heard the news. They know we have come from triumph. What follows triumph? Celebration. Spreading everywhere. And it's with ease. I said it's with ease. No one daring to touch us. For the glory of the Lord is upon us. Lift your hands up high. Worship Him. <laughs> Woo! I'm spreading everywhere. It's my year of spreading. No, it's not by your own effort. No, it's not by your own effort. It's not by human effort. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. He said the woman hid it. The woman hid the living. She didn't have to pour it on top of it. She hid it. Yet, it leavened the whole thing. You can't stop it. We are God's first fruits. We have in us the yeast to rise. <laughs> Glory to God. Say, I've got that blessing in me. It's in me. It's working in me. It causes everything about me to spread for the glory of God. I'm spreading everywhere. There are angels that God has sent to work with us and carry news about us everywhere. So our work and dominion is going far and wide for the gospel of Jesus Christ. No man can stop this gospel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I want to pray for you. It's your year. Brothers and sisters, this year, start early. Did you hear me? Start early. We are going to pray in tongues more than ever before. It's one major key for this year. Did you hear me? Because the Lord has planned for you supernatural prosperity and success yeah. and the location how the Spirit of God will locate you plant you make you get into where you ought to be will arise through speaking in tongues as you speak in tongues you will position yourself as you speak in tongues you will position facilities you will position help you position the things that are supposed to be coming to you. Make speaking in tongues a major part of your life this year. Did you hear me? We've been speaking in tongues before. But this year, very specially, because of the supernatural prosperity and success. Because things that you didn't plan, for your success and prosperity will happen. But you will make them happen through speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lora Masete Kebra de Lagon Diskis. Chombra de Lagon Sopratila Gida Hangradis. 
the Lord's hand is resting upon you. Amen. His glory is upon your life. Amen. No evil shall befall you. Amen. No plague shall come nigh your dwelling. Amen. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come nigh you. Amen. You are protected and preserved Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. angels are attending you. Amen. The presence of God attends you. Amen. The glory of God covers you. Amen. You are shielded from evil by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. If the enemy shall come against you one way, he shall flee before you seven ways. For he shall not be able to stand your presence because the hand of the Lord is upon you. Your light is shining brightly, shining brightly, shining brightly. Because the glory of God is upon your life. He leads you in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. For his name's sake. Loba Kasata la Mandele Gebro son de le Gebro de Jesus. Jelo Mangro de Lomagila la Bangrodis. Have no worries. Entertain no worries. Entertain no cares. Have no fear. Permit no fear. The Lord is asking me to tell you. Permit no fear. Permit no fear. It is the hand of God that lifts. And when he lifts you, nothing can take you down. Wisdom is granted you. Wisdom for direction is granted you. Wisdom is granted you by the Holy Ghost that dwelleth in you. Lebro sapakatele mandele. Wisdom is granted you. No masata kapara dige sondora he that is. Increase wisdom. For the anointing is upon you. Are you receiving? Are you receiving? Are you receiving? Are you receiving? It's your year of spreading. It's your year of spreading. Will you put him first this year? Will you put the Lord first? Put him first. Put him first in everything. Delight thyself in the Lord. This year, delight yourself in the Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Delight yourself in the Lord this year. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. You are blessed. All over the world, wherever you are right now, I minister these blessings unto you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will spread to the north, Amen. you will spread to the south, Amen. you will spread to the east Amen. and to the west. Amen. You will spread everywhere Amen. with the glory of God on your life. Amen. The Lord magnifies you from this day, Amen. from this hour, from this moment. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord has lifted you. And with the pronouncement of the word of the year, the year of spreading, we celebrated lavishly and exceedingly.
everybody will be seen. Ah, yeah, yeah. God, your grace and mercy is always the follow. Yeah. Move from triumph to spreading with ease by the power of the Spirit. I'm spreading everywhere, 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 everywhere. Hallelujah! spreading everywhere with the glory of the Lord I'm spreading everywhere spreading everywhere I'm spreading spreading everywhere with the glory of the Lord spreading everywhere it was like a gosher and I saw it like a flood it poured everywhere no man could stop it then as I looked it seemed like oil poured spreading everywhere nothing could stop it then I saw it rolling I thought it was rolling in one direction and I saw it was rolling in every direction I thought what's going on then there were like seeds, seeds scattered. Then it was like a heavy downpour. Downpour. It was like a rain. And then all of a sudden, it was like smoke. Everywhere was full of the glory of God. And he said, You're spreading every nation to every man's world every man's world yes he said I'm sending you into every man's world brothers and sisters we're breaking into every man's world it doesn't matter where they are it doesn't matter who's keeping them it doesn't matter where they've been we're breaking into their world we're spreading into every man's world Selon rostido saronj, baleron digo socha, telon ongo zosano, talengo socha no, digo bada socha, talena, talenon diro, digo basocha no. This is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings to search out the matter. There's a and I'll talk to you in your ears, and I'll talk to you in your heart. And then he says, your responsibility, spread the message, make it known to the world, make my secrets known, make my kingdom known, tell it everywhere. He said, I'm sending you, I'm sending you, and when I send you, no one stops you. Ye are my servants. You are my voice, my ambassadors, and I'm sending you everywhere to every man's world. Frank, come. I want Frank to sing Stars We Are. 
Are you ready? Because we're stars. Turn your light all the way up. Right up in the sky where we belong. We bring light to the rest of the world. Stars we are, we are, we are. You light me up and I light you up. Together we will change the world. Oh yes we can if you believe. Stars we are, we are, we are. Ooh, stars we are, we are. that you have been blessed by this telecast we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this way O oh Lord God I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ your word says whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life I receive eternal life into my spirit according to Romans 10 verse 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved I declare that I am saved I am born again I am a child of God I now have Christ dwelling in me, and greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I walk in the consciousness of my new life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To know more about how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us through any of the numbers now showing on your screen.
We trust you have been blessed by today's service. Do send us your testimony from this service to the address now showing on your screen. God bless you.